Praise Jesus, y'all. Praise Jesus. The Supreme Court has finally, finally came to their senses. And those freaks out there in Minnesota are doing things how we should be doing as Americans, okay? They have overruled a ban on tenant eviction filings. Let's talk about that and what that means for landlords right now. All right, y'all. You know how sometimes you're riding the straight and narrow? You're doing good. You're rolling. Things are going well. And you get off the beaten path. And then, you know, one thing leads to another. You, you do a downward spiral. Next thing you know, you're jerking a guy off for 25 bucks behind a gas station so you can buy some drugs. You know, just a, just a total downward spiral. Shit just gets off track in your life, right? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Well, you see, that's kind of what happened in Minnesota, okay? You see, Minnesota... It just got off track for them, right? They jumped the shark, the train, and went off the tracks, okay? Remember COVID, right? Shit just went off the tracks in COVID, right? Stuff was a little wild in America during the COVID days. And then, obviously, we're talking Minnesota here. So we got Minneapolis. We got the whole George Floyd situation. And then, of course, you know, the solution to the George Floyd situation was to, like, set targets on fire and, like, steal shoes and TVs from them. And, you know, everything was just, it was a whole mess, right? Minnesota was, like, reeling, dude. They were, it was a crazy, crazy time, and, and crazy things were happening, okay? And during that time, one of the crazy things uh, that happened is the state, they started uh, a ban on tenant eviction filing records, okay? So what had happened, right? Because, you know, if you're a landlord, you're a real estate investor, I assume the large majority of you watching my show are. That's, that's what we do. We talk about real estate, right? Um, tenant screening 101, what do you do? What's the first thing you do when you screen tenants, right? You see if they've ever been evicted, right? Because... You know, the liberals don't get this, but newsflash, us landlords, we're here to try to make money. One way we make money is collecting rent. When you don't give us the rent that you're supposed to, we lose money, right? So if you're trying to run a business, you're trying to ensure that you're going to be able to collect that revenue, right? So the very first thing you do when you're screening a tenant is you do a background check to see if they've ever been evicted, right? Makes sense to everyone. Nobody out there, outside of the crazy woke, thinks that's bad, okay? Well, Minnesota, again, as discussed, they were reeling, okay? They were reeling. They're jerking dudes off behind Home Depots for fentanyl, okay? They didn't know what the hell was going on in their life. They, they, they went way, way off kilter, right? It's like one of those college kids, you know, they get to college and before they got to college, they were like super, super sheltered, probably came from like a really extremely religious family, never been away from mom and dad. Mom and dad never let them do anything. And then they get to college and they just fucking go ape shit. You know what I'm talking about? Well, that's Minnesota at that time. Minnesota was going ape shit, making all kinds of bad decisions, one of which was the bright idea for them to be like, yeah, new law. Landlords can no longer see if uh they're you know someone they're no, no, they're no longer allowed to check eviction records we're no longer allowed to see if an eviction was filed against a particular tenant that is not something that should be relevant to them you know makes sense right you know if i'm a landlord why would i think it's relevant to know if you have a history of stealing from other landlords right but you know in their crazy drunken stupor that's what minnesota was doing well guess what guys they finally got back on the track, right? They finally got back on the track. Just like your Aunt Helen, who's done sucking dick for Coke money, she found Jesus, okay? Minnesota found Jesus, 
And now Minnesota is back on the right path. The path to, to capitalism, the path to decent laws, the path to not screwing over honest property owners, okay? The Minnesota Supreme Court, this is the article. I'll link it if you want to read it. The Supreme Court of Minnesota has overruled that bullshit, okay? They have overruled it, and they're like, nah, y'all are idiots. Of course these landlords are allowed to see that shit, okay? The pandemic, ah, can't even read. The pandemic era eviction moratorium expired last summer and eviction filing spiked. The Minnesota legislature passed a package of renter protections during the session that followed. One of the new laws prevented an eviction filing from being assessed by those who aren't involved in the case until the court entered a final judgment. When an eviction is filed, it just means the relationship has broken down. It's an allegation, said Rep. Esther Agabiji. I don't know. She's from Minneapolis. Minneapolis was reeling at that time. But we, do we, it was fucked, right? As soon as someone files, regardless of whether it's a frivolous lawsuit or not, that now harms the tenant. She raised concerns. The public record could prevent tenants from finding new housing and could have other future implications, right? So, you know, we wouldn't want to hurt the poor tenant who just fucked their last landlord. We wouldn't want to let the new landlord know that the previous landlord is getting royally ass-fucked by this tenant. So we got to protect that tenant, right? That tenant who is a dirty, filthy thief. We got to protect them at all costs because we're crazy liberals who are fucking spiraling out of control in the wake of George Floyd and COVID, right? We got to protect them and just fuck the property owner. That's what she's saying, right? I read what they wrote in the article to you, but that's not really what they meant. What I just said there where, you know, we're just going to fuck the honest property owner in favor of this dirty, filthy, fucking horrible fucking thief. That's what she meant, right? That's what she wanted to say. But she probably doesn't have vulgar language like myself. Okay, so uh, let's get to the good part. You don't fucking care, blah, blah, blah. If you want to figure out the rest of the shit, you can read it yourself. But uh, here's the good stuff. The Minnesota Supreme Court issued an order that eviction records are public. Chief Justice Lori Gildia wrote, uh, access to records is governed by rules adopted by the Supreme Court and the changes the law makes are contrary to the rules of public access. I think for us, it was a little bit of a surprise, Agagee said. We're continuing to look at our options and to look at what this actually means for the legislator. So hopefully we'll have more to share later. So she's like, oh, what can we do? How can we make it more woke and horrible over here? Nah! Supreme Court said no, Agabee. Stop protecting criminals, okay? Attorney Doug Turner welcomes the decision. He's a partner at Hanbury and Turner Law Firm that represents more than 100 landlords and property managers. I think that a lot of our clients are going to be happy, Turner said. Every court record should be available for everyone to see. Go figure, right? You know, I don't get how people are always painting you know, the conservatives uh, or in this case, the landlords and their attorney as the bad guys. He's in favor of transparency. Like, how is transparency a bad thing, bro? <laughs> like, like, how are people going to accuse landlords and conservatives of being the bad guy? We're like, yo, dude, let's just be open and honest what happened. All my cards on the table. Put all your cards on the table. We'll decide if we're going to do business together as landlord and tenant. Makes sense to me. Does it make sense to you, Johnny? Fucking makes perfect fucking sense. But no, those crazy Wokies in Minnesota, they were spiraling. But thank God, thank God, the freaking Supreme Court doing the Lord's work, bringing us back to reality out there in Minnesota. And now they can no longer do that. So landlords, be happy. Know that any time an eviction proceeding is filed against a tenant, you will now have access to that again. You can actually look that up, and that will help you in your tenant screening. Because, guys, I talk about tenant screening on Holton Weiss TV all the time. The number one red flag that a particular tenant is, in fact, going to make your life horrible is if they've ever been evicted. And you know what? If they haven't been evicted, if the eviction was filed against them and then somehow it never ended, that doesn't change a thing, okay? Because landlords 
this is contrary to popular belief. At least that's what the liberals want you to believe. Landlords don't like filing evictions against tenants, guys, because it's expensive and it's very costly and time consuming. Nobody wants to do that. Landlords don't evict tenants for fun. That is like a last straw. So if you ever have a tenant who got to the eviction stage, you need to deny them at all costs. There is no excuse that you as a landlord should accept from a particular tenant in regards to them having an eviction on their record. So the fact that Minnesota is now forcing land or is now forcing the hand of the liberals and allowing landlords to see this much needed information. Thank God the Supreme Court did their job. This is big. This is good because I would argue that it would be almost impossible for a landlord to properly uh, do the due diligence needed to screen tenants in the entire state if they weren't allowed to have access to those records. I would say all landlords should liquidate every rental property they own because you just can't do business. I mean, that's like trying to, I don't know, play in the NFL, but like you don't have legs, right? Like you can't do it. You can't, you can't be a running back in the NFL if you don't have legs. You can't be a landlord if you can't screen your tenants properly, and literally there is nothing more important than the eviction proceedings. That literally shows you if they have a history of paying landlords or fucking landlords. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like to get fucked like that. I like somebody to buy me dinner first. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.